With the 4x4 locking mechanism removed, um, you've got access to the hub bearing retainer here, the nut and retainer. Um, this is generally kind of greasy. You want to clean that up a little bit. And then what you'll find is this is the retaining ring and it's got three screws in it here, here, and here. These screws are really soft and if they're in tight they may want to strip out so sometimes I'll take that and just tap that with a hammer just to remove the any dirt and grease that's down in it. Shock the threads to make sure this comes out. But So what you do is remove these three screws right here. Once the screws are out you can get in here and pop this retaining ring out of here. And then you've got access to the nut itself and it's got a couple holes in it one on each side now it's got the threaded holes for the screws you don't really want to mess with those but if you get over here offset you'll find the uh, big two big holes one on each side and I'm sure Zuzu sold a special tool for this but you can just back this nut off And this is your actual wheel bearing nut right here. Okay, now with these parts cleaned up, you can see a little better. You've got the three screws. This is that locking retaining ring. You'll notice that this thing is not symmetrical. You've got where this thing is slotted in order to lock into the hub or the spindle. You've got a hole on one side and a space between the other or on the other side. And that's because when you go to put this on here, you know, this will be on here and if these holes if these three holes don't line up perfectly you can turn it around 180 degrees and put it on and then it should line up with the three holes or very closely